Good morning everyone and happy Friday. Well, it's Friday for me actually. It'll be the weekend while you're watching this. So, hope you're having a lovely weekend. Let me know what you're up to, if you've got any weekend plans, if you're doing anything special this weekend at all. Let me know what you're doing. It's a lovely day here again. Of course, very hot. I mean, it is the middle of summer. I've still got a cold, so I'm still kind of talking a bit weirdly. And my throat, it actually doesn't feel too bad today, but I do have to keep coughing every now and again. I am gonna, I don't really know, I haven't really got much of a plan today. I'm gonna have quite a chilled day today, I think. Although at half two, there's a class at the gym that I might go to. But it's currently only just gone half nine, so there's quite a while until that class actually starts. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do in the meantime. Maybe I'll do some baking or something. I'm not really sure, to be honest, what I'm gonna end up doing this morning. I actually yesterday received the Livia's Kitchen cookbook. I'd ordered it last week. I finally got it yesterday because I always use her recipes off her blog and I didn't realise she had a recipe book out. I can't believe it took me this long to realise. So I ordered that, went through it all yesterday and I was like bookmarking all the pages of recipes that I wanted to try. Literally ended up bookmarking pretty much every single page. So now I'm just going to have to flip through it all again to see which recipe I want to do, which like I'm in the mood for kind of thing. But anyway, there's some amazing looking recipes in there. So I can't wait to give some of them a go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And yeah, then I might go to that class. Then, of course, later as it is a Friday, we'll probably go out for a curry, I imagine, which will be good. I wonder if there's anything going at the cinema, actually. I kind of feel, I, even though I went to the cinema the other day, I've now got a cinema thing. I don't know if there's anything else like, what film I do want to watch. <laughs> I know this is like a kid's film, but I actually want to watch Hotel Transylvania 3. I loved the first two, so now I feel like I just have to watch the third one. But then it always feels a bit awkward going to the cinema to watch that, because you're just in there with a bunch of kids or like families and stuff, and I'm just sat there like, I shouldn't be in here really. But if I want to watch it, I want to watch it. I don't know if there's anything else really on. I've seen Ocean's 8, which is really good. I watched Mamma Mia the other day. I don't really know what else is out right now that I would want to watch. I might have a little look at that. I've decided that I do want to do some baking. And I want to do something with bananas because we've got a tray of bananas starting to go a bit soft here. Which means that they're perfect for baking with. So I've just been looking up some banana recipes. But I've got both... Naomi Smart's book out and also the Olivia's Kitchen one. So there's quite a few nice sound recipes in the Olivia's Kitchen one. I might go with the banana and peanut butter crumble squares, although I would change it to almond butter. Or I might do the black bean banana brownies. So, out of Naomi Smart's book? I don't know, I'm just very undecided. Maybe I should do both. Mm, I don't know, maybe I could make like half a recipe of both instead. Maybe I could do that but then we'd have loads of stuff. I don't know. I just literally can't make up my mind. <laughs> I've decided I think I'm gonna make the banana and... <laughs> <laughs> the banana and almond butter crumble squares in the end. And the next time that we've got going off bananas, I'll go with the um, banana black bean, ba black bean brownies. Cause they sound pretty good too, but it's just in this heat as well. When you're cooking with bananas, things soon go off and it's really hot. That's when things particularly go off. So, I will just make the one for the moment and then save the brownies for another point. So over here I've got cooked up like the banana chocolatey almond butter filling which looks so good. It also smells so tasty while cooking. And then I've got the crumble mixture over here so I now just need to actually layer this up and get it all ready to go into the oven. So that's a one crumble layer on and the chocolatey banana almond butter thing on as well that's looking good so far i've got the rest of the crumble over here which i'm going to sprinkle over the top i'm having to do it in two trays we don't actually have like a big brownie tray but i mean two separate ones will work hopefully just as well and there they are ready to go into the oven for it's only 10 minutes actually that they take to cook so it's quite quick well these are both out of the oven now and they're smelling really good although i've got to wait for them to completely cool before i can cut them so that's a bit sad but i can't have any yet but soon hopefully or later on today at some point I will. The only problem in this heat though is that they take forever to cool as well. So it could be a good few hours before they're like solidly cooled. But oh well, hopefully it'll be worth the wait. If you've been watching my vlogs for a while, then you'll know that I have like so many different intolerances and always have like digestive problems and lots of like bloating, like I get bloated really easily and stuff. So yesterday I picked up this aloe vera juice from Holland and Barrett's. I've heard that it's supposed to be really good 
for digestion and helping with bloating and IBS and everything like that. I only started taking it yesterday, but it seems to be doing something already. I don't know, it might just be like mentally I'm thinking it's doing something. But honestly, it describes it as a pleasant taste. It's not pleasant at all. And every time I do it, I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad. But it seems to get worse each time. Honestly, it's so bitter and sour tasting. But I'm hoping it'll be worth it. You can have it one to three times a day. So what I'm planning on doing is sort of having it with each main meal. So like I had some with breakfast this morning. And then I'm just getting my lunch now. As in just over an hour, I have got that gym class that I want to go to. So I'm going to get my lunch now. So I've got some time to go down a bit before I go to that class. And yeah, so I'm about to take some more of this aloe vera juice, but honestly, it is like rank. <laughs> I always just pop in a glass that I could have shot it down quickly, but even the, well, the smell of it is just horrible. It makes you gag as well. I have to like mentally prep myself each time I'm going to do this, and it looks kind of like wheat as well. I'm not going to lie. Oh, here I go. Ugh, oh, that is actually horrible. I don't really know how they could describe that as a pleasant taste in any way. It's so like bitter and sour, literally it's kind of similar effect to just sucking on a lemon but like taste wise like 10 times worse. And I'm back home from the gym, the class I went to was actually a body pump class that I've never done before, I thought you know what I'd give it a go, definitely a good arm workout, I can feel like my arms tomorrow are going to be in a lot of pain, they're definitely my weakest part of my body and well, that's probably why I should go to that class more to help strengthen them. Honestly, go to a body pump class if you need to strengthen your arms because it it will help for sure. I can already feel like I'm in so much pain from holding up the camera for a few seconds. Oh god, I might go and try one of those banana slices, banana chocolate slice things that I made earlier though in a bit. I need to have a shower though first, but that'll be a nice way to refuel after that. It's also quite good for legs. It's legs and arms mainly, like with weights, but for me mainly it killed my arms i don't know maybe there wasn't as much legs or maybe it's just because my legs are stronger than my arms that they don't seem to be hurting quite as much we'll just see tomorrow i literally feel like i'm not going to be able to get out of bed we'll have to see what the result of that one is my mum's just reminded me that i've still got this puzzle which i started if you watch my vlogs in like the winter time i can't remember when it was i think it was probably before christmas i was even doing this some point in december i'm pretty sure maybe even in january a bit I started doing this puzzle. Oh, I was doing it actually while watching Survival of the Fist. I remember that was on at the same time. I don't know when that was on. But I haven't looked at it since. It's just been sat there. I think because in Wintermore you're just stuck inside and it was something to do. But now I haven't really got anything to do right now either anyway. So, might carry on with that a bit. Also got one of the slices I made earlier. I've just tried a little bit of it. It's very tasty. I'm enjoying that. So I'm going to enjoy that. Carry on with this puzzle bit. I can't remember how far. I think I got quite far with it. And I started to give up a bit. So we'll see how it goes. I actually managed. Yeah, no. I've actually managed to get quite far with it. But I think that's why I gave up. Because it got to all the difficult bits. That I just couldn't fill in. Like here you get a lot of similar colours going with. I think that's supposed to be a rhino. And then the floor and stuff as well. So. I mean I've got lots of pieces in the right areas. But I just can't put them in the right places. We'll see if we can actually get any further with this at all. giving up on this it's just got to the point where there's too many pieces that are too similar in color i mean i was gonna say it's come on quite well but that's probably kind of how it looked before <laughs> to be honest i've put in like a few more pieces but it just seems to be one every like now and again it's just too hard there's too many pieces that look the same so it's a bit late now and we are heading out of course for our friday curry this supposed to be what is it called the red moon tonight Blood moon. Blood moon, that's it. Is it red then? Yeah. That's why I thought it was called a red moon. Some blood moon tonight, which is to do with some kind of eclipse. But we're going to head out for food first and then hopefully come back in time to see that because how often does that occur? Um, not quite often, but it's going to be the brightest. One the brightest. The oh, okay. Might look quite cool, but can you look at it directly? What is it? Is yeah. it a solar eclipse that you can't look at? Mm -hmm. ah, it's okay. just the moon's in the Earth's shadow. Ah. So makes it go red. Okay. That might look Before quite cool then. We'll see that later on. Half the wall in the car park that we're eating has been knocked over. I don't know if someone's driven in that. Uh, 
and we've got some very noisy birds up above us here somewhere. Are they seagulls being very loud? Just realised that the blind for this house over here has actually got the Mad Hatter on it. I was looking at it a bit confused for I don't know how well, I think you can see it on camera. I was looking at it and then I suddenly realised there's the Mad Hatter on it. It's, I don't know why they've got that to be honest. It's a bit creepy looking out at you. Don't know what the building is either. Not seen that though before. Mm, this is looking good. I've gone with a vegetable boona tonight. I haven't tried this before, but it's smelling and looking good. So I feel like that's going to be tasty. Mum's got, what have you got? Lamb. Lamb. Sala. Dad's has got some prawn madras and they've got vegetable kind of curry to share. And got some rice to go with it. We're waiting for this. Oh, hello. Who's licking my legs? Who's that? Bailey. Hello. Hello, Bales. Hello, Goodges. We're waiting for this um, red moon to appear right now. I can't see anything yet. My dad's actually gone off up in the hills somewhere to go get a good viewing point to get some good pictures and get a good view of it. But my mum didn't want to risk um, missing Love Island. I think it's already quarter to ten or something. I think there's like 15 appeared, minutes so. till it starts. Well, not from where we are, but I don't know if this hill over here is like yeah. blocking it at all. But I mean, at some point, I mean, we usually see it's the moon. Oh, no, Bill, don't. <laughs> Bailey's trying to look my knee scar. No, Bailey, stop it. <laughs> Mum, it's okay. Stop. Hey. Stop, it's okay. Bailey's gonna get at it now. Bob's isn't so bothered. Bailey keeps trying to lick my knee from where I fell over the other day, make trying to better. make it better, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you, Bailey. Yeah. Make it all better. Hey. You want to make it all better? I don't know where all this moon's at when it's coming, although it's still You're fairly light out here, not so. Not We'll probably see it soon, or we might just get distracted by Love Island and completely forget about it. To be honest, I can't believe there's only two more episodes of Love Island after tonight. Is that right? Yeah, it's only Sunday and Monday, isn't it? So and then it ends on Monday. It's a bit random having the final on a Monday. I might have I thought they might have done it on the Sunday one, but oh well. Anyway, it's gonna end soon, and I don't know what I'll do for the rest of the night. So I can get early nights actually mm -hmm. again. I mean, before Love Island started, I was going to bed at like ten half ten. Now I'm going to bed more like half 11, 12 each night, um, so I don't know, because I don't know what else will come on instead of it, but normally I think towards the end of summer that's when sort of TV dips and there's not really anything on to be honest, but we'll have to see, we'll have to find something to watch instead. Still no sign of this moon yet anywhere, as far as I can see anyway, but although actually there is kind of like a red mist coming up over the hill. Actually, that's only on camera, that's not in real life. I'm really confused. I don't know, maybe it's slowly coming up. Oh, actually, between the trees over there, there is some kind of, like, red light shining through. Maybe that's the moon coming up. Love Island's just about to start, so maybe in the first break we'll be able to see it. We've realised the moon's finally come up. It just literally looks like a tiny red blob on the camera. <laughs> I mean, you can't really see it that much. I was expecting it to be really bright. I don't know whether it'll get brighter. It's just very faint in the sky. But it is there and it is red. Love Island just finished and they've announced that there's the three couples who are vulnerable up for the vote. I'm really hoping in a way out of those three kids, Laura and Paul, um, both Alex's and Josh and Kaz, I think I kind of want the Alex's to go out of them. I feel bad for Alexandra because like of how Alex has messed her around and stuff, but out of them, they're the only couple who's like not a couple. So I feel like out of all of them, they're sort of the ones who should go really, but I don't know. We have to wait till Sunday though to find out. Got to wait because there's not an episode on Saturday, but we'll soon find out. Also the next episode is Meet the Parents, which I always really like. I love that episode, so that'll be quite funny. But I'm gonna get to bed now, so hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Smash a big thumbs up if you did. Click the little red subscribe button down below for you, and I'll see you very soon with a brand new vlog. Bye.